Hi guys, welcome to Algebra 1 Half, Lesson 78. Now I know yesterday's lesson was a little more challenging, so not to worry, today's lesson is actually super simple. Today we're talking about um, inserting parentheses and the order of addition, especially when it comes to negative numbers. Now first I want to draw your attention to this problem. 5 minus 3 plus 2. We all know that this sign means minus. 5 minus 3 we know is 2, plus 2 we know is 4, no problem. Well, there's something very important about subtraction that you need to know, and that's that we can look at subtraction in a different way. We call it algebraic addition. We can look at this as being a negative number, that this is negative 3. And because it's negative 3, we can surround it in parentheses and realize that we're adding a negative 3. We get the same results, 5 plus negative 3. That's still positive 2 because according to our rule, we subtract five minus three is two. We take the sign of the larger absolute value, which is five, so positive two. Now you might think, well, that's ridiculous. This is shorter. This is shorter here, yes, but in other places, no. So this is an important idea to understand. We're just using a simple concept to illustrate it. So either way, you get two and two plus four, excuse me, two plus two is equal to four, either way. So it's important to understand that we can uh, insert parentheses and our addition sign anytime we see that subtraction sign. For example, negative 4 plus 3 minus 2 plus 6. So here I have negative 4 in the beginning. Okay? Then I have plus 3. Minus 2 is the same as plus negative 2 plus 6. So now I have negative 4 plus 3. I know that's negative 1. Negative 1 plus negative 2 is negative 3, and negative 3 plus a positive 6, I know is positive 3. Because 6 minus 3 is 3, take the sign of the larger absolute value, 6, so it's positive 3. Let's try another one. Negative 2 plus 3 minus 5 plus 7. So I'm just going to set apart all of my negatives in parentheses and put a plus sign in between. So now I know I'm adding my negatives. We call this algebraic addition. Negative two plus three. Three minus two is one. Larger absolute value is positive, so positive one. Positive one plus a negative five. Because otherwise, you would have one minus five. So it makes just as much sense to say one plus negative five. So one plus negative five, well that would be five minus one is four. Our larger absolute value is negative five, so it's negative four. And negative 4 plus 7 is positive 3. Let's try another one. Negative 3 minus 2 minus 6 plus 2 minus 7. I'm going to set off all of my negatives with parentheses. I'm going to insert my plus signs. Your plus signs are very important because you don't want to get confused and think you're multiplying. So I have negative 3 plus a negative 2. That's a little bit simpler than negative 3 minus 2, right? Because you have two negatives, you just add them together and keep the sign. Negative 3 plus negative 2 is negative 5. Negative 5 plus negative 6 is negative 11. Plus a positive 2, well 11 minus 2 is 9. Larger absolute value is the negative 11, so negative 9. Negative 9 plus negative 7? Negative 16. Super easy. Okay, now, because we have um, enclosed our negatives in parentheses, we keep our sign with our number, this means we can actually add in any order. So if you do this, you close all of your negatives off in parentheses, and you add your negatives, I can add in any order, and I'm still gonna get the same answer. So here, I'm gonna add my negative numbers first, then I'm gonna add up my positive numbers, and then I'm gonna add them together. So negative 3 plus negative 2 is negative 5, plus negative 4 is a negative 9. Then I have plus 3 plus 5 is 8. Now negative 9 plus 8, 9 minus 8 is 1. The larger absolute value is my negative 9, so negative 1 is my answer. That makes it a little bit easier because I don't have to worry about any of the subtraction between the opposite signs until the very end with my problem. 
All right, I want you to pause your video and try your practice, bottom of page 220. Okay, you should be back now. You have negative four plus six minus one, so that's plus a negative one, plus seven, plus a negative three, plus two. If you chose to add up all your negatives first, you would have gotten negative four plus negative one is negative five, plus negative three is negative eight, six plus seven is 13, plus two is 15, so negative eight plus 15 is a positive seven. Then letter B, if you choose to add up your negatives first, negative two plus negative four is negative six, plus negative three is negative nine, that's it for your negatives. Two plus three is five, plus two is seven, plus four is 11. So negative nine plus 11 is a positive two. All right, hope you did well. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you in our next lesson. Bye.